Okay, what's up YouTube? Welcome to day 18 of the July Painting Challenge. And uh, we're out, headed out this morning um, to host a guild ball tournament at my local hobby store. So that's what we got going on today. I'm going to be uh, hosting a guild ball tournament. I might be playing in it depending on, you know, if there's odd or even number of players. But I'm just super excited to do it because, uh, you know, it's been how many months since we've been on lockdown. We have not had a guild ball tournament in that time. So uh, I got to help uh, head over and set up a little bit early. But yeah, let's check out the action, man. Okay, so just a quick recap of the tournament. You can see it was a socially distant tournament. Super fun. Um, lots of really beautifully, brilliantly painted miniatures. Um, it was so great to see everyone after so long uh, being locked away. But man, what a great day. Everybody had fun. And wow, I hope we get to do it again because it's just good stuff. I had so much fun and I got to play in the tournament. How cool is that? You're seeing some of the shots there from my team. All right, guys, so we're back in the studio. Um, after the tournament, I didn't really do much painting as, uh, you know, I was pretty drained from the day and uh, helping clean up the house and that kind of stuff. But we got basically a head start. These are the last six miniatures of the Mythic Battles Pantheon um, Pandora's box. So this is the end of the painting challenge goal. These are the last six here. And you can see I just barely started on some of these. So um, that's just contrast paint on um, Aphrodite there. So I'm going to build that into more skin layers. Same with the ogre here. Uh, you got the phoenix who is actually mostly done. It's a very simple design there. Um, and then I don't remember her name, but she's just started also. So lots of skin layering on those two. I was actually saving those for... Um, a skin tutorial, but I think we're just gonna push along and, and get this project finished. Uh, this is a really busy Medusa Scorpion model, which is kind of cool. Um, we'll push through and finish that guy, and then last we got Bellerophon. Uh, not much done on him, but the the Pegasus is is actually got some nice work on it. So, uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. I'm gonna try to. Try to finish these by the end of the weekend. That means um, later on uh, tomorrow, I'll go ahead and take care of that. Now, as far as the... Oh, and one final thing. Who won the tournament? And you tell... And Yvonne asks you who won the tournament, and you tell her, I did. She puts that on the, on the certificate. So, anyways, um, it was a super fun day. I had so much fun uh, seeing everybody again playing some guild ball and I, I was very surprised at the result. Uh, I think to be honest with you, there was uh, some glitches with the Longshanks program that we were using to host the tournament. And I think it messed up pairings and I just got the lucky end of those pairings. So, um, but that said, everybody played super well. It was a really excellent event. Um, and I felt like the players uh, really conducted themselves uh, well, and uh, Comic Quest really took care of us that day. So, uh, anyways, on to the question of the day. Um, what was your first gaming experience? So, not counting Monopoly or anything like that. I don't really count those as board game experiences. My first, we'll say, my first actual, like, encounter with miniatures that I knew I wanted to kind of do more with was a game called crossbows and catapults so some of you old timers um know what i'm talking about with crossbows and catapults it was just it's just an all-time classic game and in fact uh there's a company on kickstarter right now who uh is trying to bring back what is essentially crossbows and catapults they're calling it a new game i guess maybe they had some issues trying to get the crossbows and catapults name back online but um this is a it's basically the same thing you got rubber band powered crossbows and catapults and you're firing at bricks and uh little viking guys and little barbarian guys um and uh you know my family we had that and, and played it for years 
and never knew that there was an actual game. <laughs> I think like most people that had crossbows and catapults, you just sort of fling the pieces at each other and there's oh, there's some there's a piece of paper here with some rules written on it and you just throw that out and you get to the fun stuff. <laughs> at least that's what you did when you were a kid. These days I would probably uh nerd out on it and try to play a proper game of crossbows and catapults. Uh, but yeah, I really missed that game. So anyways, uh, I am going to try to power through some of this stuff. I might stream the tail end of it, or I might actually be onto one of my other very many projects that are waiting behind um, this Mythic Battles Pantheon. So that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank everyone for watching. Have a good one, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.